If you're waking up multiple times per night to urinate, you're not only destroying your sleep cycle and the quality of sleep you're getting, you're leaving yourself exposed to developing heart disease, hypertension, and even a stroke. Now, if that wasn't a big enough kick up the bum for you to fix this problem, waking up at night to pee is just downright annoying. But there's a science-backed solution to put an end to your late night trips to the bathroom. So in this video, I'm going to reveal the scientifically proven three, two, one method to prevent nighttime peeing so you can finally get the uninterrupted sleep you've been dreaming of. We'll uncover the surprising reasons behind these nightly disturbances and the fascinating science that will help you say goodbye to them for good. Get ready to take back your nights and wake up feeling refreshed. Let's go. Just kidding, I'm gonna film this scene from here too. Guys, we've all been there after a hard day at work. We go home, we eat dinner, and then we relax into the evening as we start to prepare for bed. Some of us might even enjoy a nightcap. Some go for chocolate and others sweets. And then there's those of us that are continuing to pound back fluids because we realize we hadn't hydrated enough during the day. As humans, we are creatures of habit and your nighttime routine has probably been the exact same for years and years. But today, let me introduce you to the 321 method so that you can clean it up and stop the nighttime urination schedule. And don't get me wrong, you most certainly deserve a treat at night for your hard day's work. And this framework I'm about to take you through will help you structure and slot in your nightly treat appropriately so that you can have a more restful sleep, which would be the best reward of all. All right, the three, two, one method goes like this. Three hours before bed, I want you to stop consuming food. Stop eating altogether. So if you climb into bed around 10.30, you are gonna stop all your food at 7.30 p.m. The two in the three, two, one method is two hours before going to bed, you need to cut off all fluids. And yes, I already know what you're thinking. You need to take medication at night. That's okay, you can drink a small sip of water with your medication. And finally, the one in the three, two, one method is one hour before you go to bed, I want you to double void and then double void again right before you crawl into bed. Now don't worry, I'm going to explain exactly how I want you doing a double void very shortly. Now, if you can do all three of these steps, this will cut down the amount of times you wake up to urinate overnight. And don't worry, I'm diving in a bit deeper into each step so that you can understand why you're waking up at night to pee in the first place. Because if you don't understand why you're doing this, this strategy is not going to work for you. All right, so first things first, you need to decide what type of nighttime routine you align with the best. Think about it for a second. Are you drinking fluids after dinner? Are you snacking after dinner? Do you enjoy a glass of wine on the couch? Or are you doing all of the above? Whatever pattern you fall into, you need to understand that when you consume food or fluids that contain sugar, so pretty much anything you'd have in your pantry or in your fridge, the sugar you consume causes the release of insulin inside your body, which helps absorb the sugar into your cells. This process, in turn, it decreases your body's blood sugar levels, causing your body to release hormones that raise your blood sugar back up, which causes you to wake up in the middle of the night. The consumption of simple carbohydrates and sugar has been linked to your body producing more urine overnight in combination with the lowering and then rising of blood sugar levels to accommodate. So the rule of thumb, I want you to stop eating all types of food three hours before you go to bed. Work backwards for me so that you are prepared. If you go to bed at 11, you need to stop eating at 8 p.m. sharp. Now what about fluids, Eric? I thought it was good to stay hydrated to flush out my kidneys. Let me explain how your kidneys work and then you'll rethink wanting to consume fluids after dinner and into the late evening. All right, so roughly for the first 10 waking hours of your day, your kidneys are working at their highest efficiency to filter your blood and produce a waste product known as your urine. Now here's the important bit. After that 10 hour marker, when you become less active into the evening, well, your kidneys, they naturally slow down their processing speed significantly. So all the fluids you drink after dinner and into the evening, I'm talking about water, tea, nightcaps, decaf coffee, caffeinated coffee or alcohol, 
yeah, you're pretty much self-sabotaging your sleep and forcing your body to wake up multiple times to pee. Also, for those of you watching that are into drinking decaf coffee at night, or maybe you're into your teas, you need to be aware that the majority of tea contain caffeine. And yes, even decaf coffee contains a small amount of caffeine, which acts as a natural diuretic, causing more urine production. The final step in the three, two, one method is the double void. Now, if you're like most guys, we tend to just rush the process of urinating. We want to get in and we want to get out of the bathroom as quickly as possible, causing us to retain urine in our bladder and possibly in the urethra, which will most certainly single alarm bells for you to wake up at night to pee. So a double void is where you go pee twice. One hour before bed, head to the toilet and pee normally. Now, when you think that you've finished, either stand there or sit there, whatever you prefer, and I want you to take a deep breath. And then I want you to pee a second time. This will ensure that you fully empty your bladder and leave no urine left in the line. And then once you've finished brushing your teeth and you're getting ready to jump into bed for the night, I want you to do this whole double void process again. Again, you pee normally. Once you think that you're done, you wait, five to 10 seconds, and then you pee a second time to make sure you're fully empty. So you double void one hour before bed, and then you do it again right before you jump into bed so that you can enjoy your restful sleep. Thank me later. All right, so now that you have an understanding of the impacts of food, fluids, and incomplete bladder emptying have on your nighttime trips to the toilet, I want you to try the three, two, one method out for yourself, and then come back to this video drop me a comment letting me know if this worked for you. And while you're at it, I want you to follow the gentleman's agreement. The gentleman's agreement is if you've watched more than one of my videos, please click that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. You get to join YouTube's biggest growing men's health community. And if you comment gentleman's agreement as well, I will be there to welcome you to this amazing community. Lastly, if you are looking for more specific help, I offer one-to-one -one consultations completely online wherever you are in the world. So we can start off with a free 15 minute call where you can tell me a little bit more about your health situation and what's going on. And then I could see if you are an appropriate candidate for either a one hour consult or ongoing one-on-one -on -one coaching. So again, I will leave that link if you wanna book in for a free 15 minute call in both the description and in the comment section below. It's free and it's 15 minutes. What do you have to lose? Um, I'm very excited to meet you. So go on, book in, and remember, regardless of your situation, keep going, and I'll see you in the next video.